All right, so we are looking for if there's any trends in this data. And it says click here to view the table. And first trying to see which one of these. So this is the X value. Uh, looks like when X is one, Y is eight. So there's no way it's that one. Um, this is at zero, so there's no way it's that one. And this is definitely, well, I can't really see that one. Let me zoom in a little bit. At one, looks like it's six. So it looks like this is the answer. However, you can actually open this in StatCrunch, the data. Do, do, do. And then in here, what's, what's kind of nice is that you can graph these. And the graph that I am looking for, if you go back and you kind of look at all the dots, was a scatter plot. And my X variable is age, my Y variable is vocabulary. And so what I can do now, if I can get this kind of out of the way and maybe even a little smaller, I can look at all of these and see that that matches this one right here. All right, check answer, woohoo, good job. Get rid of that. All right, it says calculate the sample correlation coefficient. Again, stat crunch. You got, you got, you just got it. Learn to use stat crunch. So here, notice that I have um, regression under stat regression, simple linear. My X is age. My Y is vocabulary. Okay, I'm not really doing anything else. I just want to come up with my correlation coefficient. So once again, try to get some things here out of the way. This is all this stuff down here. Remember hypothesis testing? Oh Lord, thank goodness she doesn't make us do that with this. All right, but the correlation coefficient, it wants three decimal places. So nine, six, and that would round to nine. All right, so that, that's looking good. So that's the correlation. It says describe this type of correlation and uh, a positive correlation is where when X goes up, Y goes up, which is happening, okay? So like this first one would be a negative correlation. So this 969, it's not perfect positive. That would be a one, but I think this is definitely very strong positive. Excellent. And now it says interpret it. So it looks like as what was my X as age goes up, their vocabulary goes up. So as age increases, the number in a world, world oh, that says decrease. So that's definitely not it. There does not aging causes the number of words vocabulary to decrease. As age increases, the vocabulary tends to increase is what I'm seeing. And now what we want to do is see is it's significant. Remember everything in statistics, you can say, yeah, it definitely by looking at it, but we need to do something mathematical, which is this critical value that we compare to our correlation coefficient. I'm going to guess already that this is going to be significant, but we don't know that. So it says here to get the table of our critical values. And the first thing you need is N, which is 11. And then you read, which I didn't do, somewhere in here, it says let alpha be 0 0.01. So 11 looks like this 0 0.735, 0 0.735, so at 11 under alpha 0 0.01. And so because my correlation coefficient is greater there definitely is sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a significant linear correlation.